placement when when you actually you know you you may sometimes you sign the paperwork and it's like right after you know sometimes it's you know a whole different experience but so I see placement and signing the paperwork as kind of two different things. Um, I, I, placement can be really obviously it's really difficult, mm -hmm. but it also can be a really beautiful experience for everybody. Um, I think you need again you need to plan it out. You need to try to do it the way you can. Well, because like I said, I had taken him home. So I was able to put all this stuff together for him that we wanted um, to give to them. And in this basket, we had put like things about us, like myself and the birth father, um, so that they would, that he would know, that he could know about us. Right. Um, and then we left there and we met at the agency and um, we went into the room and the couple was there and her mom was there who, like, I love her. Um, and we just, we sat and talked. I mean, we kind of had a time constraint. They set a time limit to it, which mm -hmm. I wish there wasn't, but I think if there wasn't, you'd probably be there be forever. Forever. Mm -hmm. forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we even, I mean, we went over it, well over it. But when, when we sat down, it was just like, you could see them look at him and see the love that they had for him already. But then they would look at me and like, they focused on me. It wasn't just like, oh, there, you have a, you have the baby. a baby, yeah. <laughs> And she had had all of her sisters write a letter to me and they all had a gift for me. Oh, yeah. And so I had a, I got a blanket and I got a picture and I mean that I used, I used that stuff and I treasure that stuff. Um, and then we just, I mean, we talked, we told him about labor and delivery. We were able to actually place him in his mom's arms. And we hugged and then we talked some more and then we took pictures and then we talked more. Like it just, it, it, there wasn't enough hugging that could go around after that. And I think that was a thing about that kills me is that you didn't, oh, to have to walk out and not have held him and, and actually placed him into his mom's arms probably would have been the worst thing ever because I had I had the knowledge leaving that he was there and he was safe and and it was immediate rather than having to walk away. I know that some girls now mm -hmm. they place in the hospital more often and I don't like that. I don't like having to leave the hospital empty handed. I don't think anybody should have to leave the hospital empty handed. Um, even if you drive down the, uh, down the road to meet somewhere, um, I think being in the hospital, that just would be hard. I think some some birth parents like to do it in the hospital because they like everything to just be there. Mm -hmm. And all of those experiences are just there in that hospital and, and they can just kind of lump it kind of emotionally and, and in their memory is everything just there, you know? And and, and so it, it does, I think, if you, if you are gonna just be walking out of the hospital on your own, mm -hmm. I think you need to make sure that you're walking out with somebody that you have something to hold, that you, you know, those kind of things. Some people, it is, per, I think it's per, personal preference. You yeah. just need to find out what you think you might need. How do you, Jared, how do you help people to, to, how do you help girls to recognize what they may need in that, in that time period at, to, mm -hmm. at placement? It's, you know, really having a discussion beforehand and having them bring in support people, you know, to say, okay, she's not going to express necessarily what she needs and wants, you know what I mean? What do you think she's going to need and want, you mm -hmm. know, and having them be aware that she's not necessarily going to say it and they're going to need to step up a little bit. She, or you know or she mean? may not you know. know. She might not I, know. I don't, you know, some people know me better than I know exactly. myself sometimes. And, yeah, and picking so it is, close yeah. people that really know that person to say, like I said, mm -hmm. she's being really quiet. That either means she needs her space or she actually needs more support, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody is yeah. so different about that. I think some good ideas for placement are are to have you know have a time period um, some kind of time limit um, to be able to say you know this is when we're gonna be done mm -hmm. I, I think it is good to to maybe have an outfit that that that, that the birth mom picks out that, that the child wears when they uh -huh. leave um, or even I've seen it the other way where she wanted to have the outfit that 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 child was wearing they and she wanted the parents to dress them in an outfit mm -hmm. and she wanted to see that happen you know and those kind of things um you know you need to ask wh whether you want to be the one that leaves 
wherever you wherever you're at first, or if you want the couple to leave, do you want to watch them walk out, or do you want to leave them there? You know, uh, all kinds of personal preferences that you just got to kind of think through. But but I think everybody needs to be prepared and understand that this is going to be the definition of bittersweet. Mm-hmm. And it is, and it is for the couple, and it is for for the birth parents, I believe. And you correct me if I'm wrong, but I know as an adoptive parent, I if you didn't know what bittersweet meant, you you, you do left. afterwards, you know, yeah. because you're looking at that child, and you're so excited to be a part of that child's life, and you're looking at that at those birth parents, and and you're realizing the, the, the pain that they're going through, and I think it makes you a better parent to have seen that Mm -hmm. because I know, I know how hard that was. Mm -hmm. And I think that was some of the struggle with, with, with people that are adopted, having some struggles with their parents and how their parents feel about their birth parents and things like that in Mm -hmm. the past, because their parents didn't see this transition. They didn't see the placement happen. And, and then that, that love and that, kind of reverence yeah, and empathy yeah. piece I think yeah you know yeah I mean? it doesn't get passed it along get even to the along. child sometimes and 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 yeah I, I mean, think that acknowledgement as a birth mom knowing that the adoptive parents have seen like for instance being in the court or hearing the judge saying some of the things they say to experience that with the birth mother I think is is important at least yeah. in my eyes yeah. knowing what I know now that 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 shows them that I, not so much that it's not that it's not the sacrifice is that it's truly meant out of love, yeah. and I I think you're right. I think some parents just don't understand, you know, as what a birth mother has to go through the stigmatism, the the self worth, the defending your decision, yeah. and going through a lot of ostracism. Ostracism, ostracism, is that the way to put it? To be able to to overcome all those obstacles to make this happen. Placement helps you realize as an adoptive parent, if you're watching it, if you're going through it, that it's this, you know, I think one of the biggest fears or the questions that people ask me as adoptive parents is, aren't you afraid that the birth parents are going to come back? Absolutely not. Because I watched them do this. And I saw that it was hard. Mm -hmm. And I saw that they chose to do it. Why would they even put themselves in that situation yeah. and then, and then back out? Right. No, they did it because they chose to because they wanted to. And no, I don't have that fear because I saw that. I saw that transition. I saw that they wanted it to happen. Well, and it's truly that bittersweet emotion. I mean, I can. I mean, I have pictures to document yeah. it, but I could. I mean, I literally I could replay it in my mind yes. a million times, and it's. I remember the pain of standing up and putting him in her arms and turning around and bawling and then turning around and just being happy and like hugging them and just realizing how great it was and then leaving and crying more like it was such an up and down back and forth but it is it is truly it is bittersweet like how much you you love him i mean i love him more than life and i know that i i knew walking out it's like i knew he had everything. I knew I was hurting, but I knew he had everything. Mm -hmm. So that's what made it all worth it. 